Hey everyone, Cody here. So I decided to go ahead and revisit this project. As you can see, I've lined it with some actual refractory cement. Just a coating, but it should definitely help. Also, I've done some uh, modifications down there to the nozzle and stuff. So now it sprays rather than dribbles out. Let's see if you can get a look down in there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and fire this up and see what temperature I can achieve. I got here a thermometer attached to my you know, an old used crucible. You can see I've got some aluminum, brass, copper, uh, cast iron, and steel. If I can't melt at least the brass, then I probably am just gonna scrap this whole idea and start over. Because I need to be able to melt at least that much. And I really wanna be able to melt steel and cast iron. I've also worked on the air supply a little bit. I'm using a shop vac. And I got a little valve, I can adjust the air supply. See, that's full, that's off. I just got it split up in these two directions. Probably not as good as it could be, but it's a good test for now. And this vacuum vac is so powerful, I don't think I'll be able to put fuel in fast enough. All right, got it lit. It wasn't too hard, a little bit of gas. Now I just gotta let it heat up. And uh, for my fuel pressure, I'm just gonna bring this up on this ladder. The more pressure I need, the higher I'll bring it. So, just keeping it simple for now. Let's see, watch what happens when I add a little bit more air. Oh yeah. Alright, it looks like it's about melted the aluminum. Yeah, the brass is gone. Looks like the copper's got a droplet on it as well. I'm definitely not able to get enough fuel in there. That's as much as I can open the valve. I need a bigger line or a high pressure pump. That's just not cutting it. I've got another crucible in there. It takes up a little bit more space, so it'll squeeze the hot gases around it a little more. Got another piece of cast iron here to try out. Another piece of copper. Let's uh, give it a whirl. Stupid uh, fuel delivery system just wouldn't work for me. Just having a wire go in there, or a tube go in there with fuel spraying out seems to work best. Woo! Alright, I guess we gotta let this cool off and then see what we ended up with. So I've recovered uh, some of the pieces out of there. You can see this. Remember that piece of cast iron I had? It's definitely partially melted. Here's that piece of cast iron, it's hot, that I put in there. You can see the side of it looks like it's had a bite taken out of it, and that's fresh. Up here I had it melted before, but this is newly melted there. Here's some copper that was completely melted. You can see it had bubbles, it was actually like boiling the copper. This is a piece of glass, and then of course my broken crucible there. All right, so I'm gonna try again. I've got this, uh, line going in here. It's just going to spray out into that. This is what I'm going to be melting. I got some copper. I have some uh, copper scrap here. And uh, I got some pieces of aluminum in there with it. Just a little bit. See if I can make some aluminum bronze. This other crucible here broke when I was cooling it off. And so I'm just going to use this as the stand to lift this up a little bit. Not sure if that's necessary, but I think it'll help get the heat on the underside of it. All right, let's fire it up and see if this can melt it.
anymore. That's def oh, it's definitely melting that copper though. Woo! I think it's just about melted. I'm running on uh, used engine oil now, by the way. So that'll be a lot cheaper than diesel. These bricks are gonna melt. Actually, that one there is already melting. Yeah, you can't see in there with the camera. I can only see in there because I've got these glasses on. Woo! Melt some copper. I think I did it. Make some I just gotta get this out of there. Not burning myself. What is that? Liquid metal. Stay away from it. There's my liquid metal right there. Well, it's solidified now. Look at that, that's definitely aluminum bronze. Nice gold color. See this over here, had a lot of dross on it, but I guess that's what happens when you use this fine copper. Okay, I got that bronze cleaned out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to melt this uh, piece of cast iron here and see if I can get any of it to run down into the crucible and then hopefully pour it out. I'm just going to do the same thing, just pour it into something. If I can melt some cast iron and pour it, I think I'll call that a day. Well, it melted a little bit, but it uh, didn't melt it as much as I'd like. Also, it tipped over and I sprung a leak, so I had to shut down. This is going to need some more tweaking to get that to melt cast iron, but it definitely melted some uh, bronze for me. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.